Now we want to take you down to South Africa in Johannesburg uh, via Skype where our correspondent Anita Powell is standing by. Uh, Anita, uh, tell us uh, what is the sense, give us a sense of the mood and the feelings of people down there in South Africa. South Africa is a really emotional, emotional place to be right now. This, this country is experiencing a roller coaster of emotions now that uh, we've heard that President Mandela has died. People are deeply sorrowful and also somewhat happy that he's now at peace. Uh, so it's, it's a very conflicted, very heavy place to be today. We know that uh, he, he lived a fairly long life, but uh, for most South Africans, they did not want to see this day come. Isn't that the case? When I, when I moved here in 2009, South Africans always used to say, if Madiba dies, which I always thought was quite funny. But when you think about it, you would never say, when my mother dies or when my brother dies. You'd say, if, because you don't want them to die. And I think that's how many South Africans feel about Madiba. So many people I've talked to today have said, he was my father. He was my grandfather. I miss him. I love him. And so I think that's why South Africans are, are so emotional over this. They just don't want to let him go. Yeah, the uh, ambassador of South Africa to Washington earlier uh, on the show said it was shocking, despite the fact that some may have anticipated this day. Yeah, and I think what, what that reflects is that many South Africans feel, rightly, that they did not have enough time with Mr. Mandela. He spent 27 years of his life in prison. Nobody even knew what he looked like for many of those years. Um, and then when he became president, he stepped down after five years. I think South Africans feel pretty, pretty broadly that they wish they'd had more of him, and they're sad that they, they never got that chance. Well, I need to stand by. Uh, thank you very much. Uh,